Hello, people of the internet. My name is Maximum Illusion, and welcome back to another Warframe build video. As promised in my last build video, here we have Valkyr, or in my case, because I grinded for Valkyr Prime. So remember, people who are using Valkyr, because I'm using Valkyr Prime, stats will be a little different for me. I'm going to have uh, slightly more armor and more energy than you guys will, but it doesn't really change the build much, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. So, after uh, playing Valkyr in one of my survival videos, one of my uh, survival challenge videos, I uh, realized that she's a lot harder to kill than I thought she was, and uh, well, here we are. So let's take a look at the build I have created for her. So I've actually created two builds. So the first one is my Eternal War build. This will be the one that I would suspect most people will be using. Sadly, because I use the Umbral mods, I ran out of space and don't have a Xylus mod slot. But as you can see uh, in the bottom right hand corner, we have Adaptation. Because honestly, why not? I already have. This thing gets up to a 95% damage reduction as just with. It, with War Cry active. So, 95% damage reduction with War Cry active, and then we tack on adaptation for even more damage reduction. It gets kind of insane. So, we have uh, <clears throat> Rage, so that I can generate my energy because with how low my efficiency is due to blind rage, I, uh, well, War Cry costs 115 energy, I believe. It's it's over a hundred energy, so it's it'll it'll hit you hard when you use it. So you got to be careful of that. With the umbral mod, of course, we have one thousand. We have over a thousand health and almost two thousand armor. And uh, because we're running a uh, war cry build, with an, uh, we're running eternal uh, eternal war. This um you don't have to have a lot of duration for this build, but you should have some, so don't don't go overkill on it. But you do need you do need some duration. So I'm only at 75%. That's just my personal opinion. If you want, you can drop rage for a continuity, but in the end, it really it doesn't really matter. I mean, it just comes out of personal preference. If you make enough, if you have a um, arcane energize, I would highly recommend putting on the continuity just because it fits with the build better. But then, of course, we have Transient Fortitude and Blind Rage for that massive amount of strength, and uh, Steel Charge for the uh, melee weapon damage. So, let us take a look at how this build performs. So, here I have 20 Corrupted Heavy Gunners. They're powerful, they kill things quickly. Let's see how fast I rip them apart. So. They're all dead. All right. They come over here. This build travels and attacks so damn fast that on numerous occasions I have just flaw I've flown up the edge into the void, just like a bird flying through the sky to its doom. So yeah, this build has an amazingly high attack speed, because if, if you guys remember, we have uh, Berserker on here for a 75% attack speed increase, plus Valkyr Prime with my 154% increase to attack speed, giving us 225% increase attack speed, making the attack approximately 3 times a second. Yeah. Three times a second. What have I done? And you have to think, if you put Volt on this, it would get even worse. But, let's take a look at my second mode. This is the one that a lot of people are going to be uh, more inclined to use, I think. But here it is. Here is the hybrid build. So, of course, we've dropped off Adaptation. But we've kept Eternal War. So, that's the one thing that I think makes this build different from most, is that we've kept... Eternal War on there instead of going with uh, more duration, which we could have, or actually more efficiency as well would have been good. But alas, let us 
go over what we have here. So we have 100 adrenaline, of course, so that when I drop out of hysteria, I don't, uh, well, I don't stay out of hysteria for too long. I can just regenerate my energy and get back in there. Transient Fortitude, Normal Intensify for a little bit of power strength. We don't want too much, because too much will lead to repercussions in other fields that we can't deal with. But of course, you know, having that extra strength really helps with the damage. Prime Flow, because we need massive amounts of energy to keep Hysteria up. Eternal War, to keep our War Cry up. Then we have um, Continuity and Narrow Minded to make it so it's a little easier to run. So. Let us take a look at this build and see just what it can do. So first of all, we got to pick up all the energy, lots of it. Now let us first kill and then simulate. So now we activate this. Now one of the things you'll notice is the energy drain is not that much right now, but later on it gets um, gets worse. So Warcry has 33 seconds, and uh, well. So that, that's what it does. I attack so fast that I can't control myself, and I just fly off the edge. But uh, last I checked, Venka, my my Venka Prime Gauntlets just—they don't—they're not too good. These talons, I, I don't have them very well maxed out at all. I don't have a lot on them. Uh, I will be working on that in the future to make them a little more powerful. But other than that, there really isn't much to say. Um, I mean, 1.5 attack speed is really good, so with everything put together, it gets kind of insane how fast you can attack. I mean, I'd have to I'd have to use a macro, and even then, I don't think I could reach the max attack speed. Just saying. Of course, on both builds, we will be running the miter with Neutralizing Justice to make sure that we can get rid of all of the Nully Fields, because we do not want to deal with them at all. Sadly, with the hybrid build, when you're in Hysteria, you can't use it, but... Eh. So of course with both builds we are also using our Jin with Reawaken, that way we have something that can keep up with us in the later stages of the game. I mean, having all these extra things on there just makes them tankier and, you know, makes them help me a little more. Medi Ray is something I highly recommend for the 12% health over 4 seconds, that is incredibly powerful, it helps a lot with Valkyr, especially, and well, especially with any frame that has high amounts of damage reduction. And whose EHP is really high, because even that 12% can mean massive amounts of damage you can take on top of what you've already taken. So, um, other than that, there really isn't much else to say. Um, this is one of the few builds that I expect to keep up with me in uh, the survival games. Uh, I believe it'll keep up with Wukong and Nidus on a good day, especially once the build is finished, but as I said before, I do still need to get a hold of a uh, max-ranked Energize. It's it's expensive. For those of you who don't know how much it costs, it's like 2,000 Platinum to get a max-ranked Arcane Energize, and I just do not, I do not have the play. You guys have seen how much Plat I have. I have like 50 left. I've spent everything I have on getting this frame fully maxed out and ready and I still wasn't able to so I have a long way to go and a lot of work to do and uh, I hope you guys are uh, ready for my next video I will be doing Necros so if you guys enjoyed this build video um, if you have any things like anything I can do to make it better or any change you can I can do just post it in the comments below I read all my comments all the time and I almost always respond to it so you guys can uh, get in touch with me and talk to me about that. Um, in the future, this build will be appearing on my survival challenge videos, so you can look forward to that as well. And I will see you all in my next video.